So this is my man Tim here. He's got his real purple panel truck behind us and this thing is absolutely unique. So tell me a little bit about this thing. What What is it? Well, at first Royal Purple had it for many years and they wanted it refreshed. So we gutted it, we stripped it down to bare metal. It's a 61 with a 63 nose on it. Okay. And okay. then it was a delivery vehicle from the 60s. So there's actually an old school wood strip through there so they could throw packages and crates and stuff in there and not dent the yeah, outer really body. Floor, yeah, so cool. that's why it's the delivery vehicle. It's display vehicle for Royal Purple. Sweet. Well, I love the color combo. It actually, it's very similar to my other car that I have, the E36, the gray with the purple valve cover and the purple intake manifold. We is actually really good took looking. a Royal Purple box and tried to color match it. Just kind of held it yep. up. It's got yep. the closest yep. color possible. So it's a big Royal Purple box is I what it is. It. So. I love it. So first thing I noticed, so V8, Chevrolet, what's up with that valve cover? Why does that look so crazy? Well, again, back in the 60s, since this is the 60s, they had what they called the W head, 409 and 348 motors. That's a six liter Lingenfelder LS with 409 valve covers just coil, covering the coil packs, ah, just to kind of confuse. So that's, it's an LS, modern okay, fuel injection, okay. all Holly injection, carburetor, everything. It's got, you know, got their big computer. I could run nitrous off of it and turbo boost and everything, but we just kind of build it to you know do a hot rod power tour. We drive it here and it's got like 500 horsepower. So Sick. it's almost 5,000 pounds. So we're not gonna drift it. We're not gonna do burnouts. It's not a drag truck. It's just a cool cruiser. So yeah, it's good. got all Looks the modern good. stuff. It's got vintage air, air conditioning. It's got a tilt wheel. It's got new gauges. It's got satellite radio. Um, little mild custom stuff here. There's usually lights here. We shaved that. Nice. Uh, built the grill bar. It's 57 Corvette grill teeth. Okay. And then the headlights are quad lights. On a GMC, they had quad lights. Chevy's had single on each side. Okay. And then made the headlight buckets. Wow. Wow. So what is that made out of? It's, it's steel. There's a guy that makes these pieces. Okay. And then I cut them, Siamese them, and extend them to make them what I wanted to do. So See, that's my favorite part about a build is when you get to take your own little custom bits to it, yeah. where somebody would stand back and be like, wait a second. What is that? And you're like, I yeah. made of course, it. That's I, and I've been it. running my hot rod shop for almost 28 years. I say I've been in over 350 magazines, third youngest to be inducted in the Rod and Custom Hall of Fame. So I'm used to like cutting stuff up, building tube yeah. chassis, you know, big dollar show cars, but we had like seven months to build this thing. Wow. Okay. So we knocked it out pretty quick. It's a full aftermarket chassis from Fat Man Fabrications. It's got a Fab 9, nine inch housing. Okay. It's got purple Willwood calipers on it. Disc brakes all the way around. Wow. Uh, B&M 4L80 transmission. I say it's almost 5,000 pounds and it gets almost 20 miles a gallon if you keep your foot out of it driving Yeah, out. right, that's always the hardest part, right? Yeah. I'm sure it sounds pretty good too, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's pretty mild. I put, uh, it's got a Flowmaster exhaust on it. Um, just because I knew we was going to drive a lot of miles with it, I didn't want to just deafening or have to wear earphones right, or right. something like that. Don't so. want to get out of it with your ears ringing. Yeah, I'm old. I don't hear well anyway from years <laughs> of being around the shop. So yeah, but it's it's still hot rod sound, but yeah, idle and it, it stays pretty good. Beautiful, so. beautiful car. Well, let's check out the inside. Okay, it's got original seat frame, really skinny, just inch and a half pleats in it. Um, it's got big kicker stereo, vintage air system, I did it tilt column, Dakota digital gauges. Uh, it's got air ride on it, so it's got presets. You just hit the buttons to drop it, raise it at ride height, and it's got sensor arms so you can throw oil or suitcases for a road trip, and you hit the setting number two, and it always goes it up to the preset ride up. height. So. Man, this thing is absolutely awesome. You guys did a nice job in seven months, too. I know how long it takes to build a car, and you guys did an excellent job. And then since Kicker Audio helped us out, they sent me the marine speakers and the hubs like you would normally like on a ski boat. So they kind of work and you got the party mode controller. So if you're back here, you know, hanging out in the parking lot or whatever, you can control the volume and everything here. And it's got Bluetooth, satellite radio. Then with the air suspension, it's got a step in the floor. So for hauling stuff, you lose that, that right, space. Right. So we come up with being a display vehicle for Royal Purple, we put the bed slide in here so we can put oil display built racks for some of our other sponsors, and uh, all the air tanks, the two Optima batteries, the controllers, and all the stuff is underneath of it when this slides in. Wow. So tell me real quick about the color. How did you choose this color? There it is, right there. See, we kind of matched the gray up. Wow. And the purple. And uh, I had a couple yellows that I played with and kind of went with a more of a cream yellow. But yeah, it's a, it's a big world purple box. Oh my gosh. Nice job, man. This thing is an unbelievable work of art. I love it. I've been on the road since last Sunday in this thing. The so. fact that you even go drive it around too is cool. Most people show up, it's on a trailer, you know, but the yeah. fact that you roll in in this thing yeah. is and like the Yeah, and we build a lot part. of those trailer queens at the hot rod shop for people. But Absolutely. It's, you know, 
as I say, they don't ride those horses to the Kentucky Derby. Right. <laughs> so you didn't drive your car here. No, I no, certainly so, didn't. Yeah, I certainly we, didn't. It's nice that, you know, the industry's big. You got race cars, you got street cruisers, you got trailer queen show cars that put, we do those too. You jack them up, put mirrors underneath of them, you know, it shows. And this is pretty fun. It's been a while since we've had one that we've put, let's say, oh, 14,000 miles on it by the time I get home tomorrow. Wow. Did a couple hot rod power tours. And I mean, we drive it to local cars and coffees and stuff. And you know, usually we build a car for ourselves too every once in a while. After a year of showing, it goes to somebody's collection. Yeah, right. So it's right. been a long time since I've drove a hot rod in my 27 years running my hot rod shop that we've put 14,000 miles on. What a unique rig too. Yeah. I absolutely love it. Well, very nicely done, Tim. Yep. I appreciate it. Thank you for your time. Thank you. And, uh, Nice rig. Good luck today. I'll see you on the road. Thank yep. you, sir.